What's up, Dapper Squad? It's your boy Darius back at it again with more Mushoku Tensei. Today we're doing episodes 17 and 18 of season two. Very excited, very nervous, especially because one of these is the turning point, which has to do with our QA section for the day. If you guys don't know, I have a QA section on the Discord. You guys can ask me a question pertaining to a reaction, and I'll try to answer it in that next reaction. This one is a very old one. I know I'm very late. This one's from Zuzi, who asks, uh, turning point doesn't always mean action-packed events immediately, but they are all life-changing developments slash decisions in the story. So, with that being said, what's your prediction for the next turning point? Um, the first turning point was teleportation. The second one was Orsted and fighting, and that whole, that which did very much choose how we are right now you know sculpted the story so turning point three we did just get married i really don't know that's a great question but i don't think it's going to be super violent i don't think it's going to be another teleportation i don't think any gods are going to show up so in terms of my guesses for what's going to happen i'm praying the marriage stays cool that's literally my only hope is that sophie and and uh, rudy are happy and you know um other than that i have no idea it's a great question though thank you for question uh, thank you for that question zuzi if you guys ever want to ask me something like i said check out that discord q a section other than that check out that patreon for early access full length check out the twitch because we live stream all reactions before we post them on patreon and youtube um i appreciate y'all i'm not gonna waste any more time let's hop right into it mushoku uh 17 and 18 up season two let's do it all right here we go this is episode 17. <laughs> I understand. That's that's pretty serious. Oh, uh, especially relating it to himself and how socially he was depressed when he wouldn't leave, you know. Is this the classroom she she learns in? What's about to do? Ask around. I respect you, bro. I do. No, Rudy, this is not your old life, but she's upset because she's in your shadow. All stems from my boy Rudy. He is a W brother, but like. Take a second, you know, gotta look look around what's going on. You're leading, right? You're leading such a good example, you know? And she already doesn't like you being compared to someone you don't like and met like, I get it. You look like a concerned brother, right? That's all, no one's gonna judge anyone for that. That's the wrong thing to do. Can't force someone, you know? <laughs> I agree. We're stuck between a rock and a hard place. What do we do? All clear, everyone left for the dining hall. Okay, W. We don't have to worry about the females in the area roasting us in the girls' dorm. Oh, he sees himself, literally. That is quite the self-reflection. He's going through an arc himself, you know, trying to help his sister. Eventually, after trying so long, they'll give up, you know? Mentally, I spit on all of it. Ugh. Eventually, I Some great symbolism, great self-reflection, great full circleness. I'm just curious if it's gonna work, you know. Oh, 
Only she. Uh, it's so rough because you can't expect her to know anymore. She's so young, you know? But, like, if she knew the full story, I think she'd blame Paul more than anyone, you know? That is very sad for a young girl to think, you know? Going from hating him to being compared constantly and being in his shadow, I mean, it's a, especially for how young she is, it's a rough situation, you know? What's her name again? Jesus, bro. They're not, they don't even call her her name, they just call her Rudy's sister. She literally cannot escape, Rudy. One day that pit in her stomach hurt so bad she just decided to not go. <laughs> Having an anxiety attack. Seeing everything we've already seen from her POV, though, does change a lot of perspective. You know, it makes sense to see it like she sees it, especially as a young, young, not understanding girl, you know. She's already getting somewhat older. Yeah, if only she could have seen their making up, you know, that would have been huge, you know. She does feel all alone, you know. I love her region, man. One day you will. One day you will. Coming from Rui Jird, ah, oh, man, that shit just hits, man. I miss that fucking boy, man. He faced him. Damn. That guy. <laughs> These Paul. He, he, he is very much like his old man. It's so important for both their characters. For Norn especially, but for Rudy is because it's such a full circle for him. So I won't run either. Very cathartic moment, you know. Well done, Mr. Rudy. W brother. W brother, that was needed. That's already amazing to hear. <laughs> She's so shy. You guys both went through your own thing, you know? She had her own full character arc self-realization, you know? Good way to put it. Even this young girl can be inspirating an in, in, in inspiration. Can't move back at all, can only move forward. Good. I love that. I... They, would, they don't ever, ever need to show that, but if Nanahoshi ever does go back and gives that message, ooh, that'd be great. All right, on to the next episode, Turning Point 3. Starting off with some beautiful water animation. With Laplace. The curse. 
Hey. I have a feeling we will one day. Bringing the good name to the superb. W author. Good question. How do you hmm. package with a figure? It's a real good question. How do you express these feelings you want to express? Oh, those remind me of a video game. You wear those that give you a certain buff, you know? W man's future woman right. Happy wife, happy life. Ooh. Hey, use whatever you can, you know. He got connections. Mm. Half off. Good man's, good man's. Hey, she's a great negotiator. She's a great shopper. She did plastic. I love how she's using the plastic as a little vase for the flower. I love that. We're going in a baby step. Something organic, then something small like a kitten, then something bigger, and then, you know. Oh yeah, shout out Zenova. Crazy cool statue figure. How things have changed, you know? Heck yeah. Awesome. See, this is what makes me nervous. You have a great montage. Everyone's making steady progress. That never happens in the show. That's how I want my life, man. Simple, routines, but we're making steady progress every day, you know? Exactly. I want a nice, simple life like that. W. Rudy, man. Morning run. Have a lovely wife, lovely house, friends, goals, ambitions, constantly learning. Striving for greatness. She's Prago. Rudy's gonna be a father? I feel like we're still seeing Rudy grow up. Him being a... That would be crazy. Obviously, she's nervous about what he's gonna say. Every woman is... You hope he's super excited and, you know. W, Aisha. What are you supposed to tell your wife? Look how much they've grown up together. You're supposed to tell her you love her. You're excited. She looks beautiful. All the above. Thank you for blessing me with this amazing opportunity. I don't know. See, this is way too happy for me. That's what I'm saying. I'm way too nervous. Oh, look, he's... He's ugly crying. No, no sexual anything. No, uh-uh, uh-uh. That is hilarious. Aisha is way too mature for her age. Just picturing them at this table. See, something tells me it's not going to be like this, but wouldn't, wouldn't this be a heaven? You know, wouldn't this be amazing? What letter did he just get? Zenith's rescue difficult. Send help. We're we gonna see Man God again. We haven't been in here in forever. It's from Geese too. Wow. 
Give us info, bud. Don't play around right now. Yeah. <laughs> this is why it's turning point three. This is the decision he's going to have to make. It's a good point, you know? Like, <sighs> he's done, he's made so much progress over here. Like, literally, unfathomable amount of good, goodness is happening over here. Damn. I hate that he doesn't tell us anymore, but I feel like it wouldn't. I wouldn't hit if he told us why, you know? My lips are sealed. I... It does, but in such a weird way. Yeah, give me something. Give me a crumb. Which... That's a very good point as we really creepily zoom into Man God's eyes. That's just the truth of life. You miss out on being a husband and a father. But if you don't go, Paul, Geese, Zenith, everyone might die. I need to know the details about Man God so much. I'm saying. How is my man gonna be true to? How is that what you're gonna tell me? Cheat on your wife and you'll be happy. Bye. What sort of fucking advice is that? Bro, what the fuck? A year is insane. Uh, insane. A year there and back, not to mention how long it would take anything on there? No, you cannot leave Sophie. That's such a struggle. Even if, let's say things work out and you take a year to get there, they could easily have been done already. They could all be dead. They could all be have saved her, and there's no point even going. That's a year wasted. Even Alina Lee says it. Wow, that's high praise. I respect that, Alina Lee. Useful indiscretion. The fair way to put it. I agree. Is he actually gonna go? Begarit would take a year to get there. You are the pillar. What, Norn, you think you're going with us or something? Oh, she was about to go on her own. Poor girl. That's, uh... Yeah. From a little girl, it's, it's that simple. They're in trouble. You have power. Why not help them, you know? But it's a lot more gray than that, you know? I respect it. He wants that. He thinks he can have it all. But I just don't think that's going to be a possibility. I respect that he wants to do this, obviously, because of his family, because of what he's trying to do. But from what I know, I don't know a lot, but from what I know, Man God has not lied once, you know. He's in a weird roundabout way, he tells the truth. So I feel like we're going to regret this, and I'm nervous. Damn, man. Okay. That's not at all what I was expecting the turning point to be. But that was one of the biggest decisions of the show by far. All right, like I said, just when I was getting nothing but happiness and, and progress and love, of course they have to cut it short. 
east. I do miss you, and I hope everything in Beggar Reed's going okay, even though you specifically said it's not. I'm very curious how this is going to go. Obviously, we're going to have to get another time skip. There's no way we're going to have another four or five episodes just traveling for the year. It takes a year to get there, a year to get back, plus what all happens there. Like That's going to be insane. I just, I, oh, when we get back, it's going to be crazy. We still got... I don't know what's gonna happen. I really don't. This uh that's one thing I really love about this show is its predictability is really not there. Like it's not like other shonens where it's very easy. I can very easily predict what's happening, but no. I'm here for it. I'm excited, but also very, very nervous. I do miss Rui Jerd. That's the character I want to see the most. Uh hopefully you guys enjoyed. If you did, please leave a like on this video. Let me know your thoughts down below. Don't forget to subscribe, all that jazz. I appreciate y'all immensely. Uh have a great day.